Hello and welcome back to The Long Dark, Episode 5. When I left off, we had just scored a excellent shot on this deer. And now we are going to get some food. We're out here next to the fire. Okay, so if I use a... Mm. This time, the knife is better for the meat. I wonder if that's because it's not frozen. Mm. Interesting. One hour, 18 minutes. Let's see, we have the temperature for that. Let's, let's make sure we've got the fuel for it. Yes, that fur, fur firewood burns well. We got some of this too, we're a little encumbered. Okay, so first things first, we'll cut a little piece off and eat it. Right now, there's no reason to wait. All this gear is slowing me down. Yeah, de deal with it just for a little bit, please. Fresh venison. I'm gonna cook that. Staying nice and warm. We just need to take care of the hunger. Where is it? My fresh cooked deer. Here it is. 800 calories. Yum. Gotta get some. So now we'll hydrate. Uh, one of the things we'll do, let me see, the deer is still pretty fresh. One of the things I want to do is have a cup of coffee. Help keep me warm and fight off the fatigue. I'm starting to get tired. This will also give me a few, a few extra calories. Here we go. Mm. Nice cup of coffee. 100 calories, yep, boosting my, my energy a little bit, so I'm not tired anymore, I'm just winded. That's good. So now what we're going to do is get the rest of the deer and dedicate two hours. Let's do it. Effects of the coffee have worn off. That's it, we got it all. Excellent. Still have a lot of time on the fire. Let's put the gun away. We don't want to accidentally fire anything. So now what we'll do is we will start to cook some. I'll probably cook a couple, eat them right away, and we'll store the rest. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. That's okay. You're not going to have to carry it for much longer. Because we are going to cook as much deer as we can to fill up our belly. <clears throat> I want our calorie store to be slap full. Okay, how much daylight is left? Unknown. Fog has rolled in. Well, that's okay. We're close to the hut. So we don't really, we haven't lost our bearings anywhere. Nothing to harvest, yep. So our hut's right over the way. This is good. It's very warm by the fire. It's not a lot of wind. Fire should keep the animals away. So let's just hang out here for a moment. And eat some deer. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, fresh cooked venison. I don't think we need the other one just yet, so we're going to hold on to that. Just just for a bit. We can, we can decide to eat it at any time. Now what I would like to do is melt, melt some more snow since we're here. Maybe see if the fog clears out any. I'm not worried about the fog, though. Pull in that water. Yep, we're going to do it again. Three hours of daylight left. Perfect. It's very, very nice. That coffee helped keep us from bottoming out our fatigue. And we're getting thirsty boiling all this water, so let's drink some. Indeed. Look at that. Condition will be improving soon, for sure. 38 minutes left on the campfire. No reason to linger here. Oh. What do we got? Two hours of daylight? We're right there? That's perfect. We have the fire to light our way. Or no, the fire will be out by the time I'm done. I'm going to harvest this uh, this wood here. We're oof, heavily overburdened. 
And we're about to drop a bunch of stuff off. As soon as we're done getting a little more firewood. This should only take me 45 minutes with a good hatchet. Ooh, one hour. That's fine, we're still going to do it. One hour of daylight left, and the cabin is still in view. We're in, we're in fine shape. It's beautiful twilight this evening. It helps that uh, a, a nice shelter is up ahead. One of the other really neat things about being here is it's going to be full of stuff. There's going to be all sorts of wonderful things to scavenge and scrounge in all the drawers. And I can't wait to lighten the load. Carrying so much. Yep, moving, moving even, even slower now as I get tired. Can't even run now. Just crawling, trudging up the hill. It's okay. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't take me an hour to get up here. Even if it does, it should be fine. It's barely cold. Slight chill. So slow. Hmm. I suppose I could throw some things down, but I don't really want to do that. <clears throat> Not yet, anyways. I'd like to do it inside so that I can be inside for the night. Sleep through the night, start the next day out on the right foot. Okay. We made it. It was a little slow going there. Trudging up the snow with a pack full of uh, full of goods. Mm, and the rifle isn't here this time. Mm. Good thing I already have one. All right, where are we at here? We're a little peckish, so we're going to eat that other piece of deer that we cooked. 800 calories. Get you some of that. Buddy, we're going to bed with a full belly. We're already warming up. It's already nice and warm in here. All right, another can opener. Hmm. Not sure how many of those I'm going to need. The safe, again. Wonder if I just... No, I could mess with that for quite a while. I have a feeling it's not going to... Um... Not going to change anything. Flare, very good. Another sewing kit. Can't really complain. I'd rather have too many than not enough. A snare, very good. Grape soda. Oh, hello, we have a book. Might this be an educational book? No, but a book nonetheless. A rifle cartridge. Good score there. Empty. Hmm. Energy bar, okay. Well, here's where we're going to start putting our things. I liked doing that. <laughs> we'll get rid of these flares. And the extra hatchet. The hunting rifle. Mm, the mountaineering rope. Let me sort things by weight. There we go. The mountaineering rope is incredibly heavy. All this firewood, this reclaimed wood, all this deer meat. We'll get all this stuff getting rid of, gotten rid of here. Ooh, another rifle cartridge. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Backpack. Big money. No whammy. Nope, nothing. Some firewood, some fur firewood. So that's what we'll do. We'll put our firewood here where this was stacked. I didn't even need to pick it up. So we'll drop all of you. I'll sort them by weight again, and then we'll drop all of you all right there in a the corner. So all, all our firewood is there in the corner. Another lantern. We're going to leave it there for now. That'll come in handy. Some coffee. Mm. Lots and lots of coffee. Herbal tea and coffee. Cloth. Rifle cleaning kit. We're going to do that while we have less than one hour of daylight. Maybe not. See how fast this man can clean a rifle. Oh, I put the rifle away. That's fine. Um, 
Yeah, we'll do it another time. I'm not sure how long it takes, but I don't want to waste my last bit of daylight by trying to do it and then having it interrupt halfway and go, nope, it's too dark. I'm going to start a fire, but I don't really need to. So we'll just put the rifle cleaning kit in there. Put a lot of these extra sewing kits in there. Goodness. Our extra whetstone. Extra matches. Sure. Coffee. Yeah, why not? Rifle ammunition. Yes, we'll put it in there. That's fine. Coffee, all of that. We only need one pack of coffee, I believe. The herbal tea. Um, yeah, you know, we might as well transfer that because we're probably not going to be trying to get a good night's rest unless we're here. Um, next on the list, what do we got? All these can openers. We don't need these. Transfer some of those over. The bow. We don't really need the bow till we have some arrows. MRE I'm going to hold on to. The extra pry bar isn't necessary. Actually, I'm going to take the better quality one and soar that. Use the lower quality one. Oh, what do we got? Uh, the hatchet. Put this arrow in there. It's pretty good. Yeah, see, we're out of daylight. Al or we're, we're about out of daylight already. So probably made the right decision. Locker's empty. That's great. Because we're going to put a bunch of gamey venison in the locker. And uh, what else do we want to do? I feel like there was something... Oh, of course. We want to start curing our hides and our guts. Absolutely. So we'll just be dropping guts on the ground. Get this place smelling nice and, um, you know, like a like a hunter's, trapper's cabin. Like it should smell. This reclaimed wood, I'm not going to need that. But that's not so much a firewood as it is um, a building tool. Oh, that's also what we're going to dry out. I've totally forgot. We've got saplings. Here, we'll put them here and then... I know, it's getting dark. I apologize. I don't want to burn the fuel for light. It is a precious resource. If I had unlimited light, I would surely turn it on. And we're going to drop these birch saplings. Excellent. Question mark hours of darkness. Must be nice and foggy out there. Ooh, and the wind's picking up. Let's sleep for nine hours. That was a good day. That was a real good day. We want some more days like that. One hour of darkness left. I'm not well rested. I want to be well rested. I'm not tired, though. Mm, fair enough. But I am parched. Oh, you're not that hungry. Relax. Or are you? Well, I guess you're a little hungry. All right, so that's what we'll do with our time here. We'll get a little... Sto a little uh, a little fire going here. I don't have any fuel, because I threw it all down. That scared me for a moment. I was like, what happened to all my firewood? I was overburdened with firewood. There we go. 55% chance of success. Sure. Why not? We have enough tinder plugs. It's not a big deal. Come on, Come on little fire. You can do it. I believe in you. 55% though. I mean, there's no no extreme cost. If we don't do it, we're out one cardboard match and some tinder. Not worried about it. I'm starting to feel some of that heat. The glow coming out of the oven. There we go. Well. Out of the stove. Turned out really well. Um... Fire starting two. Novice. Interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook one piece of deer. Or, no, we'll cook two. Why not? We'll cook two. 
just to make sure we're good to go. We're going to get hungry again as the day goes on. And I think one of these is less than a full kilogram, so it's it's going to be not as many calories, not the full 800. Less than one hour of darkness left. It might be the... Here, we'll drink some water. Might be twilight. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to eat. Get in good shape here. You know what? Probably have a candy energy bar. Granola bar. We'll have a granola bar to top us off there. And then we'll sleep for one hour. Just one. <clears throat> Just a little nap till the sun comes up. Mm. Sounds windy, though. Sounds very windy. Oh, look what we have over here. Fuel. How much is in it? Hmm. Okay. Two and a half, uh... Two and a half liters or so. It's a good amount. We're going to save the uh, the fuel, though, until we have a reason to be up at night. Like when we, we have to read and we're not tired. We have boots to make, things of that nature. All right. So step one, I want to put a snare out. I'm pretty sure I still have that on me. I don't believe I put it back. Yes, I do. Excellent. So we will go and set a snare out, and then I believe we might... Um, well... I'm not sure. We'll explore the surrounding area here. We're not going to go very far. I'd like to try to learn this area very well so that I feel confident traveling to and from it. So windy. 14C when I'm not in the wind. Minus 14C, not in the wind. That's, that's definitely a little cold today. So what we'll do... Oh, look at that! There's saplings over here this time. Interesting. Put this snare down. Then let's go see what kind of saplings these are. Oof. Losing that warmth fast. That wind is just cutting through the, our, our clothing. Very, very cold. What do we have? Birch saplings? Yeah, these are pretty important. We'll go ahead and take them. It doesn't take long. Get them curing. It's always one of those I'd rather have too many and that be my problem than not enough. We have up here some sticks. That's good. We need to make some more tinder plugs. We have yet to find a fire striker. So I'm hoping to get one of those before too long. So these matches will eventually run out, and that fire striker seemed to be able to be used a bunch without losing any durability. I'm not exactly sure how many uses it took to go down 1%, but it was more than a couple. I know. I know. It's cold. It is cold. That is a thing. Um, no, we're going to use our hands with this. We don't need the hatchet. I hate to do that to you, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> so what we can do is we can go and cut down a... Because I'm looking at our stats. Really the only thing we have to worry about is our temperature. But I'd like to keep moving and exploring. So I'm going to go find a tree, cut it down into firewood, and then just start a fire right then and there. Hopefully that will work. That's my plan. Uh, I'd like to believe it's going to work. I'm definitely feeling a little better this go around. Like I know what I'm doing and what I'm trying to accomplish. Another branch. I don't really want the branch. I need to be on the lookout for wildlife. Mm, we're going numb. Yeah. 
Weather is trending warmer slightly, a couple degrees. So hopefully that means the storm is uh, finishing up. I wonder if I come over here if I get a wind block. Yes, I do. Not enough. At risk for hypothermia. It's fine. That is what it is. It's very, very cold. It's no surprise, really. Oh, yep, here we go. Max's last stand. I remembered this place. Nothing, huh, Max? A couple feathers for my troubles. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm just going to continue following this ridge line here. See what that hypothermia is doing. 7%. Doing okay. Could be better. Could be a lot worse. Oh, I don't want to tumble down there. No, no, no. I'm starting to slide. Let's not do that. Let's stay over here where the slope is a little gentler. There's so much beauty to this game. I hear something. Sounds like a deer. It's just a cold day up here in the Canadian wilderness. I would say this is moderate snow. Good wind, though. Not seeing any limbs that I can chop into firewood. Oh, there we go. Speaking of, I was just mentioning that. No, that would be a branch. There's a body over there. Okay, I want to keep it in my eyesight. I want to make sure I don't lose my bearing in case the weather gets worse. Actually, no, let's go do this, because there's wood over here, too. I can get firewood just beyond this person, and this is the direction I want to go. Frozen corpse. A worn toke. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's like the lumber yard up ahead. Could this be the ob observation mountain? No. I feel like the obser the observatory, the forest observatory was so high and the mountain was so steep that it would be noticeable. That I would just no, oh, no, don't drop the venison. Goodness. Yes, we're going to break this down. getting warmer however I am getting colder my risk for hypothermia has increased significantly and my condition has dropped to 75% I'm a little frozen not to be alarmed I'm actually going to find a wind block up here and create a fire oh this is the tunnel I had almost forgotten about this place. The tunnel collapse. Another pry bar. Better take it. They don't seem repairable, so they're a finite resource. Here we go. Nice wind. Simple tools. Very good. How's that hypothermia doing? 74%? Alright, let's take care of this situation here. There is no reason to get all crazy in exploring when we have a w nice wind block here. I'll just tuck right in here away from the wind. And just get this fire going. Cardboard matches. Oh, my chance for success with cardboard matches is 70%? Goodness. That must be that fire skill improving. 75 with wood matches. Wow pays to get that fire skill up. I've got to read those books. So that, that proves to me something that I've been thinking about for a while now, and that's that I need to scavenge more. Uh, the things like tools that, can't, tools that can't be repaired, rifle ammunition, hooks, scrap metal, books that improve my skills significantly, and food that's ready to eat, perishable food that really I can just eat it as soon as I find it. Um, 
I need to I need to travel and I need to explore more. So I'm not going to be as stationary this go around as I used to be. I'm going to be finding a lot of little spots to camp out in the wilderness as I travel to destinations unknown. Especially, especially with improved fire starting skill. Okay, so now that we're warming up, we're going to have a cup of coffee. Help get that energy up a little bit. Get a little bit of hydration, some calories. We're just standing around the fire anyways. There's no reason not to. I think I had a lot of coffee last game, and I drank it all in one sitting because I was starving and didn't really get the full benefit from it. As it keeps me from having to... Having to drink my water... But also, oh, peckish, yes. Let's go ahead and eat our venison. Keeps my energy up during the day. So that way I can travel farther. Campfire, 43 minutes. Let's see if we can't stoke the fire's temperature a little bit. Warming up from that coffee, too. That's a big help. Feels pretty warm here with the wind block. I'm tempted to step away from the fire for just a moment and see what the temperature becomes out here. So it's minus 14 out of the in the wind and minus 7 out of the wind. That's not bad. It's warming up. We're just going to hang out here at the fire for a bit longer. This would be the ideal time to read a book. Um, we don't have a book to read. We could see if... Uh, no, I read that researched already um what could i do i could repair some of my clothing let's see if any of my clothing is worn fleece sweater worn down vest what is the down vest uh replacing oh probably the part the expedition parka no 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 we're gonna keep the expedition parka for goodness sake that's an important thing. Thermal underwear is pretty good. Jeans are a little worn. Not much good for anything out there. Mm. And how are the boots? Leather boots. Basic hiking boots. And jeans. So this seems to be the biggest issue I'm having here, as, as far as I can see, is that my jeans... I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing jeans out here, for crying out loud. I can't... Can't get over that. Sweater, parka, the gloves are doing well. How's our temperature? Getting warmer. We need to replace the jeans. I think last time I went for the uh, deerskin boots first because my leather boots were garbage, but if I would have paid attention, I might have noticed that I was wearing jeans. So I think we're going to make the deerskin pants first this time. And I believe we have enough deer hide and guts curing. And we have plenty of sewing kits, so we're going to get on that as fast as possible. And then hopefully it'll make travel out of here a little easier. I don't plan on being in a hurry to leave Mystery Lake. But I am going to, in a hurry, explore all of Mystery Lake. Uh, when I load the game up... Let's melt a little bit more snow. When I load the game up, it actually tells me the percentage of Mystery Lake that I have explored. And in my last game, my last season, right before I had died, the game said I had only explored, I think, 16% of Mystery Lake or 30% of Mystery Lake, something like that. It was under 50. So there's definitely a lot out here to find. I just need to be adventurous enough to get it. That's what we're going to do. Look at that. Eight hours of daylight left, and we are warm, rested, slaked, and full. Um, you know, I, I just looked at the timer. Some of my episodes lately have been running long, and I'm aiming to stop that. So actually, we're going to go ahead and just kind of tuck behind this rock, and I'm going to sign off for now. So this has been the Long Dark Episode 4. I hope you had fun, because I know I did. So take care, and we'll see you next time.